Hello and welcome to Screw Loops. And as you can see from that epic intro there, we're checking out Virtual Towers Online, the new unreleased alpha build uh, that Immortal Media Studios has kindly sent over to me. Um, they have warned me there will be a few bugs because it's not really due for public release uh, yet. I'm not too sure when it will be. Uh, but they have said most of the park is on this build compared to the past demos, which were a couple of years old now, the ones I've tried before on the channel. So I'm, I'm really excited, let's get into this. And again, straight away, everything's different. We've got a nice new menu system here, which will probably be more towards like the final build by the looks of it. Um, we got a home, got a story mode. Interesting thing about the story mode, they did mention that you'd start off as uh, like doing like a small job at the towers, so like litter picking all the way up to like ride operations and stuff like that. So it'll be interesting to see how that pans out. Um, options, which is have a quick look on here. So the controls, um, bear with me, just need to get a picture of that so I know what I'm doing. Okay, so got my controls down. Um, we've got video options, I've put it to the highest possible settings if there's a few issues there. I'll probably come back and change all that audio. Um, I'm not really sure. I'm not really messing around with that. And obviously we've got the credits here, uh, which isn't working just yet. And let's have a quick one here. So we've got patch notes. Uh, so we've got an improved main menu, more areas to roam, included Terra Streets and Adventureland, new and improved audio and visual settings, gameplay save, more rides to ride, and stay home, protect the NHS, save lives. Uh, very wise words there from the team future updates we've got <laughs> we have no idea possibly break everything two year delay on next release did you really think this would be serious after all we don't like to make promises we will only break them like we did with this game okay <laughs> uh, i am really hyped to get in oh I'm gone. One, more. one more so we've got one more message here so important information from the team all logos and names and designs are prop property of merlin entertainment not owned Licensed to Immortal Media Studios. Whilst every attempt has been made to make this version of Virtual Tales Online as error free as possible, some creepy crawlies may still get in. If you find any bugs, please report them to us either using our Discord or Facebook. And we've got the, the pages there. If you want to check those out, make sure to check those out. And I'm just going to dive in. So, story mode. Uh, oh, hello. VR mode. Uh, that's obviously not available just yet, but that's promising. It just shows them working on virtual reality for this. And uh, there's a continue on, so I'd, I'd imagine there's a save feature. Well, let's just dive straight into this. Ah, uh, so here we are straight at the uh, the main entrance, which is nice. Uh, the past two demos I tried was just Hex and uh, X Sector, so I presume we'll have a lot more access to the park. Uh, let's check out this corkscrew here. Yeah. Let's have a look. Oh, that's beautiful. You know what? That looks like a thumbnail already right there. Look at that. Nice sunlight effects. Light bleeds through all the uh, individual set. track spines, I'd say. Um, the monorail is currently closed. And I believe all this area is obviously still in development. So we'll, we'll leave that. Let's just have a check around here. Obviously, I want to see as much as I can, like I did before. Uh, because this is probably going to be a lot larger than uh, the last time we played. Um, this might be a very long video. Uh, so I'll show you all the things you need to see. And in regular screw loops fashion, we're going to try and get out of bounds as well. But I'll leave that till later because um, exploration is well rewarded on Virtual Tales Online. So we've got our ticket sales and collection here. What we got on here? So, ah, nice. Bit of advertising there for your Merlin annual pass. Um, I currently have the premium annual pass. I do recommend that, especially if you drive because uh, the car parking's three. Uh, thank you for playing Virtual Tales Online. This is uh, not what we're meant to see just yet. That's when we're going out of the park. Oh, coming soon. So we've got the car parks there. I just want to check something. Cause last time, uh, I really wanted to get into the toilet of X Sector. Don't ask why. I got so close to doing it on the live stream. Uh, which is pr pretty much breaking the game, but um, I don't think... Ooh, okay. We've got no collision there yet. I won't go through there, just because I fall into New Zealand. So, yeah, okay. So here we've got the, the entrance. Lovely. And uh, we're going to go straight in. 
Look at that. Virtual towers. Beautiful. Straight through the turnstiles. So I did see that... Ooh. Okay, this is still <laughs> heavily in the works down this area, so we'll keep away from that. Um, I did see that you can interact uh, by using the click, so I'm just going to try interacting with a few things as I go around the park, because you never know, something might happen. And as well, you know, because of all the secrets and stuff uh, they, they put into it last time, I'm, I'm really curious to see what does happen when you kind of mess about. Uh, so, virtual towers. So here we are, this is Tower Street. I'm sure everyone recognizes this little area of the park. Technically, you know, Main Street USA uh, is to Disney. This is what it is to, to Alton Towers. What we've got here, we've usually got a little shop here. We can't access this just yet, I believe. There's a door though, interesting. And obviously, the most iconic area of the entire entrance, the frogs. Can we, oh yeah, can jump on them. Gotta love the frogs, is it? I thought he like splashed up me then. So whenever anyone has a little meet up at Alton Towers, you usually meet up by the frogs. <laughs> Photos. And here, I believe, you can kind of get old. well, it's not quite finished just yet, but I believe that's where you pick up like your, your fast passes and stuff like that. Oh, here it is. In game customized virtual bricks available now amazing short breaks ah with the bricks I don't know if you noticed on the main menu but um, what you can actually do is purchase virtual bricks which is uh, it's basically like a small donation uh, to to the team because the game is three or you can, it's completely three as far as I know anyway they're the current alpha builds are three to download um, so uh, any any small donations like that go towards the project, uh, but you can also have your own little brick. The time now is 10:54. Queues closed today at infinity. That's nice. Um, right, we got 10 minute queue for Oblivion. 90 minutes for the small lad. That's typical. <laughs> no way. So the time is actually synced up with my time. I don't know if that's coincidental or not. But that, that's really cool. Right, so. Oh, we've also got Spin Ball Wizard as well. Which is currently closed for some reason. Uh, we'll head that way in just a bit. Because I'm just curious to see how this area has actually been built. I mean, um, they did say it was more adventure land. Which was more accessible. But it's always nice to, to have a little wander around. So here's, I believe, where the Skyride Station is. Yeah, it is. And it uh, looks like this is where <laughs> early, early stages at the moment. But just look at that. Look at the views. Beautiful. So here we have Mutiny Bay. Um, this is generally my favourite area of the entire park. I mean, it doesn't have the most thrilling attractions, of course. But it just feels like the most immersive. Like You feel like you're really tucked into to a bit of a pirate-themed area. Which is really nice and here we usually have the shows I wonder if they'll have a show that'd be quite good if you could get a job as one of the actors and you got to act in front of all the people good fun and uh, obviously this is it's still looking really nice but you can tell this is uh, definitely under development right now awesome stuff oh oh hello so a bit of bit of popping <laughs> one thing I must say is considering how big the park is now compared to what it was on the demos it just seems a lot more optimized so um, hopefully for those who don't have tanks of computers might be able to run this a lot better than the other demos because it's certainly running a bit better on mine so here we've got Wicker Man currently closed at the moment sadly um, but I'm not gonna lie it looks bloody awesome I want to get onto that. Let's try it from this angle. Oh, wow. Check that out. That is awesome. I wonder if the fire effects work on it. I'll have to find out. Should we have a look? Should we just have a wait? Give it a few seconds. Oh, yes. Check that out. Now, that, that could be a thumbnail as well, to be honest. I like that. Uh, did you notice the train was just a little block? 
<laughs> That's obviously early stages as well. Uh, all this area is currently well in development. Uh, but it's pretty cool to see that you can actually check out Wicker Man in his current stage. We've got this here, which I believe is feed. I think that's feed. Correct me if I'm wrong. There's a, a complete alphabet of the uh, the Wicker Man language. Uh, what's it called? Uh, up here again. This is something I might try and check out a bit later on. Uh, cause I, you know I me, mean? I can find my way around uh, around things. Oh my god! Oh dear! I shouldn't have done that. Whoops! I just kind of dived into uh, into the unknown. This is pretty interesting. Though. You can kind of get a, a view of things underneath the world. Like this building here, uh, you might recognise by the car park. I believe it's. Uh, wow, you can actually see inside the building as well. And they must be working on something in there, because there's even a staircase. That is very interesting. That is like, I believe it's like a staff building or something like something of the sort. Um, right. What I'm gonna do. Let's try and restart this, bear with. Okay, we're back and uh, many apologies for that. That was just me being extremely curious and seeing where where we could go. Again, I'm very aware that I might fall through the floor here, but I just kind of want to have a look. Surround here, so we've got a little table set. It's where the cafe is. Um, let's go around here. I want to check out Adventure. Adventure Land, I believe it's called. We've got Spinball down this area. Uh, we will get back to Mutiny Bay because it'll be quite interesting to, to have a look around, really. Here we are. Spinball Wizard, eh? Morris on Spinning Coaster. Um, is it better than Dragon's Fury, though? This is uh, what I want to ask. So I kind of I prefer Dragon's Fury, but it's not really your traditional kind of spinner layout. It's a bit more. Uh, I don't know, it's not as spinny. You can see what's, here, what's going on over here. See, BB's land is currently under construction, as you can tell. Oh, wow. I'm hoping we might be able to give this one a ride. Let's find out. So, we've got the entrance here. All the information on the sign, I believe, is, uh, is on there. Ah, sadly, uh, we can't get on the ride just yet. But obviously, um, we can take a look. It's nice to have a look, isn't it? What's everyone's favourite moment from Spinboiser? Do you like the drop? Do you like the overbank? I personally love the helix here. I think that's it's a cracking little helix that one. Oh, duckies! That's just it's just beautiful. Like, what I'd give right now just to get to Alton Towers, and especially in this gorgeous sunny weather. Now here's the question. Are the toilets accessible now? <laughs> so here we've got a beautiful view of Spider up here as well. Absolutely love this little angle from the uh, from this little area here. And it looks like the toilets are. I wonder. <laughs> oh God. Okay. They've uh, they've killed me. Whoops. <laughs> okay. Pro tip: if you need a wee, then. Don't use the toilet to bother Smiley because you'll fall through and die. I've got me a nice little jog up to uh, back up to X Sector. Got my uh, one form of exercise in running through Alton Towers from the comfort of my own home. Right, we're back. So uh, instead of going to the toilet, I'm just going to check around here first. I want to just check the front of the towers. This is something we haven't seen yet on the Virtual Towers Online. Um, that's under construction. We've got the little golf golf challenge with the little island. I think you've got to try and get it onto there. I wonder. Am I risking it again? Yeah. Nah. I was going to try and swim across to the island and see what the actual golf uh, the hole was like. I might try that. Yeah, it looks like a few of these are still, still uh, under development with the textures and that. You can kind of see what they're going for. It's pretty cool. And you can win £1,000. Again, the final build of the towers, they won't look like that, don't worry. It's uh, currently under construction. And again. Oh, hold on a sec. I, I don't know if... Uh, I'm not brave enough here. I'm just curious to... 
Can I get through this without dying? Oh no! Done it again! Whoopsie! Whoa! There's like a, a massive building? Okay. Well, I'm certainly keeping fit today. Breaking news, man falls through toilets at Alton Towers. I'm sure the mirror will be all over that. Okay, just for the record, I don't need the toilet. I'm just going to get straight in. Wet myself. Let's go. x -Sector. I won't show you too much of x -Sector. I'll kind of show you what's been updated. Get a few rides on some of the, the attractions if we can. Um, because we have already kind of seen this area on the past two alpha demos. Um, I'll be quite curious to see what they've done with the little secret entrance down the side. I wonder if they've kept that. Obviously in here. Again, it's looking nicer. I can't... I think it's more... Yeah. I think that, I think there is some 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 differences here. Looks like the uh, designs on the wall. It's a bit more busier. Awesome. Made our own unique recipe. Chicken. Aha! Now, uh, on the last demo, we couldn't go in here at all, but now we've kind of got a little hub for it now. So, this is where all the arcade is. Uh, you can play like air hockey and stuff like that. The Oblivion shop is now accessible, which is awesome. Uh, behind you, you've usually got the screens. I don't know if. Uh, yeah, I think, I think there's still a lot of work to be done in there, but it's cool to see. I'm going to go up Oblivion backwards. Let's do this. Show you what's changed. Hey, what? I can't get through. Okay, you can't get that way. Yes, yeah, get a nice view of Oblivion's drop. Has to be done. Get the nice sunlight effect. Oh, look at that. That is stunning. Go. Oh, yes. Oh, nice. And the mist it reacts to it as well. Oh, what's this? Hold on a sec. That's interesting. I've never seen that before. Okay. Awesome. That is just... Oh, it's a thing of beauty. Thing of absolute beauty. Alright, here we go. Whoa, smiler. Again, I don't know if it's just been better optimised, but it just seems to be running a lot better on there, uh, on this build than it did on the last few demos. I'm not too sure what they've done there. I mean, visually, it still looks stunning, so um, job well done. Right, we're going to take the fast track queue, because we know what the queue to Oblivion's like. Ah, no, that's an improvement. So we've got video screens now. That is really cool. And this looks like it's, uh, it's actually lit up now. I think before it wasn't lit up. That is really cool. So straight away, even you know in the current alpha demo areas, you wouldn't see any improvements. Obviously got all the screens here. Um, oh. I think the collision's a bit off in places, but... Yeah, that looks like it's still still under development. I'm sure there's a button for Oblivion on the old demo. Just press, is it Oh, Aha! Here we go. Hold on, we'll just get a... Yeah, we can do a backseat ride. Checking out the view. So that's an improvement. They've added some extra audio onto the onto the drop. They don't look down. That's really cool. So already we've seen there, uh, seen some massive improvements just in the X sector area alone. Awesome stuff. Right, let's get out of here. Right, um, should we have a little look down by submission? Not that anything's probably going to be there. Just kind of curious. So that's blocked off. It's kind of looking exactly what it was. Before. It just looks a lot nicer. Just seems like the grass is a bit more, you know, 
grass, <laughs> grassy grass. Oh, that noise never gets old. Now, yeah, something I was a bit curious in Enterprises when I went in here, a little eyeball icon come up. I'm wondering if when you kind of get to operate the rides, you can kind of click on all these and have a go. Yeah, maybe Enterprise is off during this demo. Right, let's have a sneaky peek at the smiler now, see if anything's changed here. Oh, it just looks so cool. Right, we're going to go through, hang on, let's go through the queue line first. Then we can come out of the shop. Wow. Honestly, this is this is looking a lot better. Interactive board. I can't remember if that was there before with the, the text scrolling, but that's really cool. Ah, so you go through. Ah, that's nice. So even these, the, the interactive so as you walk through, the kind of flap. Ah, nice. So this is a this is a massive improvement over the demo. Because in here it was just a dark room before. I mean, I don't think he was even meant to get in this area, uh, but like, this is looking a lot nicer. We've got the little uh, little rollers above your head. If you've never noticed them before in the real queue, they're, they're actually there. Wow. This is awesome. I don't know, how do we get up there then? <laughs> Can I get on? Control X. So there's a cinema. Ooh. That's interesting. So if you press Control X, you can get access to cinematic camera option. Wow. Ah, and then moving now as well. Little, um car wash element <laughs> is it the tickler it's one of those isn't it get through here. oh that oh hello this is interesting so we're going backstage on the smaller this is something i was not expecting to happen so let's stay on here so blank wall at the moment come out here ah I like little touches like that, that is neat. So when you do come to working on it, um, you can actually interact with the doors and access certain areas. I mean, I don't trust the floor in here. Oh! Whoa, what, what, what's going on? What's this about? What? What's going on? Got the screens up here, so... <laughs> Smaller shop TV, that's awesome. I think I've just kind of glitched the game a bit, but and um, this is actually the shop. I'm not sure if you're meant to be here. Let's have a little flick through here. So all this down here. This is definitely again really improved upon last time. Let's have a check upstairs. Ah so you can actually get through these doors as well. Can you hear that? What's that about? Uh, Marmalizer. Okay, I've, I've figured out the magic word. Francis Jackson. Oh. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, mate, this is really weird. So. <laughs> I'm gonna have to find that out. I mean, like, if anyone else can figure uh, figure out what the magic word is. Ah, so that leads us back into the queue line area. So if you never knew that, can I get through this way? That is awesome. Is that way I get anywhere? Nope. Watch your head down here. Cause the amount of times I've walked into one of these pillars and smashed my head off it. <laughs> so the shop. I mean, I think. Ah, if I stand here, you can actually see the shop. I think there's a bit of a glitch going on. Oh, what's this? What's going on? This is so weird. 
That's like an illusion in itself. That is so weird. I'll go back. Oh, whoa, the shop's gone again. And it's back. I just love all this. You've got all the little boxes everywhere. It's like the, they've actually started supplying up now. You know, stocking up. Because as you remember last time we visited the smaller shop, uh, it looked like coronavirus had a bit of an impact and uh, panic buying all over the road. But this is <laughs> this is nice. I like that. That is awesome. So you can actually get through there from this angle as well. Just so you know. So now I'm more inclined to uh, to kind of check out more little secret areas because I feel like there's some uh, some little hidden Easter eggs and nuggets in here here and there. Right. So if many of you remember, there is a little secret area just down here which will lead leads us to the gardens usually I don't know if anything's changed will we still head there let's have a look so it kind of led to like the little pagoda area but instead we're at the area where the Altonville mine tours is so if you go down here it's usually where skin snatches is a little mine uh, obviously I don't think that's in here just yet but it'll be quite quite interesting to see what's around the sides ah uh, again not quite developed just yet, but it's pretty cool to look at. Well, this is nice. You can get a better better glance at the towers now in detail. There's a little kind of staircase thingy I kind of want to have a look at. It's kind of just a... Oh, hang on a second. That's, that's, that's curious. It looks like it's meant to be a door there, so... I'm going to keep my eye on that. That's, that's one thing to, to watch out for to see what happens. I just like playing this, just discovering things, because obviously, like like this as well, you can get inside the towers as well. That is awesome. If you've never done that before, you, it's, you can usually do it at the start start of the season. You can access the actual towers and go up uh, go up onto the roof, pretty much. Um, it's only the stop because when when it gets towards the end of the year, they have closed the towers down for. Uh, the maze is there, so Terror of the Towers or the Attic or whatever it's going to be this year. I'm just wondering what that is. There's like a massive building in the distance and that is now covered by trees. That is piquing my curiosity. I'm going to have to check that out. I feel like I'm going to have to break the game just to get there though. Because you know what I'm like. <laughs> hey, okay. Coronavirus, stay home, protect the NHS, save lives. That is good. So if you want to visit Alton Towers, right now, the best way to do it is Virtual Towers Online. Obviously this one's unreleased at the moment, but stay tuned. I'm sure it'll be out to you guys very soon. So that's blocked off there, but oh, no, I can't get through. I was going to try and test it, see what I could do. So obviously we've got the towers, the garden area around here. So just a quick, quick sneaky peek. Don't trust that, I feel like I'll drop into oblivion, so uh, I'm staying away from that just for now. So we've got all the courtyard now. Um, again, obviously it's uh, definitely a work in progress at the moment, but it looks pretty cool. Right, here we are. So we've got dark forest just around there, and obviously it's not just done, done just yet, even. I can get over to here. <laughs> so... This is the uh, is it the woodcutter's restaurant, I believe it is. I just want to see, can we have a little sneak peek? I feel like these are tactfully put put here for me to climb the fence. What do I do it? Oh. oh, man, this is like Mario. Oh my god! Come on, get up, get up. You know you want to. I think I've screwed myself up a bit here. Oh no, please don't say I'm stuck. If I jump, I can kind of see what's going on. And yeah, there's a lot lot left to do. There's a, there's a massive building over there, I'm really curious. Is it the JCB building from like round down the road? Okay, I've managed to get out of there. It's just not, not go there just yet. <laughs> but um, I definitely want to check that out. Oh, hello. So I've just walked into Hex. Whoa, okay. 
Got the TV screen's all working on this one. Lighting looks a lot better in here. It looks a lot, lot more improved than it was uh, in the old demo. I just love the little screens. That is so cool. is the supernatural, conducting bizarre experiments in a desperate attempt to finally banish the evil power of the curse. So as you can tell there, they've got the uh, the video up and nice. It's the lighting's fantastic in there, really is. Now this is a bit, oh, <laughs> I love this from the actual ride. There's a lot of things that happen in here. I'm going to try my best to get everything on here. Generations revealed a mysterious passageway hidden behind an ancient bookcase. It was this passageway which unearthed a secret stranger than anyone could have imagined. The sealed vault, and within, the legendary fallen branch itself. Ah, go through here. <laughs> oh man! Oh, this is awesome. Uh, how do we get in? So I don't think I could quite ride Hex yet. That's a shame. Okay, so unfortunately it doesn't look like we can get on Hex, so um, I just kind of booted myself up back out and now we're at Mutiny Bay. But it's cool to see that uh, how much effort has been put into it so far, it looks insane. And here we've got Marauders, is it Marauders Mayhem? Let's try and, uh, I'm wondering if we can actually get on this. Or at least get inside the, uh, the actual ride station. Holy cow, here we go. What's going on? Oh my god, you can actually spin them. Let's try and get on. Try and spin it. Uh, how are we going to do this? Wow, I feel, I feel sick. Uh. Oh, try and, oh, look at that. That one's going for it, man. Let's try and spin these as mad as we can. So if you want to be a showman and do uh, spin all the waltzers around, you can do that on Marauders Mayhem. Alright, so we're at the other side now. Let's have a look what's going down here. There's a little peepholes here. I love this. <laughs> the little uh, portaloos. Is it because these aren't ready yet or something? Wicker man. I like that. Kind of feels like, you know, the whole area is still well under development. Look at that. That is awesome, man. I need, I need to explore this. You know, check every door because you never know which one will open. Or not exist. Oh, I can kind of see inside here. That's pretty cool. What's this one? I oh, know there's the, uh, this is where sea life is. I'm wondering if there's a way to get into sea life. God, I love stuff like this. It's like, you know, when you used to play like is it Tomb Raider 2 and, you, and you'd play in Lara Croft's mansion and you're just kind of going off the beaten track a bit and finding all these hidden areas and stuff. It kind of reminds me of that. I mean, whoa, damn, why have I done that again? While I'm here, I'm wondering if I can make it to that weird building. Should we have a look? So obviously we've got them down there with a secret area. So up here, I believe 
Uh, this little area looks like it's towards Katanga Canyon. Whoa, what the hell is this? Hold the phone. What is that? Is this like... <laughs> this is like an early Forbidden Valley. What is it? Look, we've even got like a signboard up there as well. I mean, I'm probably not meant to be here, but you know. So our roll. So that's a... I want to know what that sign is, so that's just like your little... Oh, wow. Hold up, hold the phone. I've, I've kind of found my way to Forbidden Valley. This is pretty cool. <laughs> so, so these are solid, can't get through them. Well here you can kind of get an idea of the, the design of Nemesis at the moment, which is awesome. Oh man, As if, if I could get up there, I oh, could, man. It would be so cool to see. And you can kind of see the uh, the square kind of replicating what the train would do on Nemesis. This is interesting. No way. What's even more interesting is that they've actually still got Ripsaw sat up here. I thought it was moving then. That's weird. So we've got Ripsaw, I don't think we've got Blade. There's Blade here. How bizarre. How bizarre. That is so cool. Oh my days. <laughs> that is awesome. Okay, I'm in, I'm in Forbidden Valley now. I'm just kind of like, you know... Behind the scenes tour. Let's have a look. This is going to be trickier than I thought to get out of here. Is there any like ladders? <laughs> yes. Yeah, stuff that's easy to climb. Oh, damn. Oh, God. All right, I think I'm stuck. That's me stuck. Okay, guys, this is going to be my final attempt. I just kind of want to look at uh, the part that we haven't really looked at yet, which is by. The gardens. I feel like there might be some stuff down there to look at, uh, and then I'm gonna try and, you know, dash for that building I saw in the this, the distance because I feel like them testing me here because you know last time I played this on the live live stream I kind of wanted to see how see how far I could get out of bounds, and uh, <laughs> I feel like they're testing me. Here. I need to I need to have a look. I mean, yes, we've got the map. Which map is this one? Comment below if you know which map this is. I think it's the current one, or maybe the 2019 one. I have no idea. Although, I did see Ripsaw there, and it's not on the map. So, uh, <laughs> I really want to know what that building is. Part of me is thinking, is it the hotel? And then working on the hotel. Because if they are, that, that's going to be pretty cool to find out. Uh, obviously, got battle galleons here. And down here is, uh, where is it called? It's the uh, secret passage, isn't it? So you've got Gloomy Ward, and then you've got the little secret passage actually down there. Let's have a little walk across here. Look at the duckies. So if we can jump, have a look what's going on. Ah, so they are developing the garden. So the gardens are definitely something we'll be able to check out. Can we get through here? Even more interesting, is this another secret? Let's find out. Ah, uh, it's it's not letting us go through just yet. Right, I've got a plan. Got a plan. So I know I can get down this bit here. So if I fall down onto this bit. Hey? What's that? <laughs> okay, let's have a look at that. You can kind of get a little glimpse of what Dark Forest is looking like as well from underneath. Just to see if there's any development going on. <laughs> Look at this. What a mess. Oh my god. Playing football. <laughs> What's happened here? Is it just like kind of fell through the restaurant? <laughs> brilliant. See, I like little things like that. That just that is brilliant. Oh, see, I just love to explore. Explore the unexplorable. Because. In real life, you can't get underneath the park, can you? But on Virtual Towers Online, you certainly can. 
What's this? So we've got the entrance way to Dark Forest. That looks like the start of uh, Rita there, the station. Uh, this must be the underground section where 13 is going to be. Because it does that kind of helix round backwards. So obviously there's a lot, lot to be done here by the looks of it. Um, but it's cool to see they've got a kind of got a start on that already. I mean, obviously I probably can't see all the objects from down here, but it's a start. We've got Rita, we've got the station building just there. Uh, that looks like the shops. We've got like the the arcades and whatever. Um, maybe we could get to the gardens from here. I don't know. There's a oh, there's another plane underneath here. Yeah, that's a bit bizarre. Right, this is my goal. I might be here for about three hours, but see that building down there? I really want to check it out. Like, it's a, it's a big tease. And if I fall through the floor by the time I get there, so be it. Let's do it. Ah! I can also see, you know, where that pagoda was, the little secret area. If you look through those trees, you can kind of see it just about through there. So that's, that's another interesting thing. Right, I'm going to power on, try and get to here. I feel like this is going to be a much longer walk than I was actually anticipating. And <laughs> the problem is I'll probably get there and I probably can't even climb the thing anyway, so... But you know what, it's worth a shot. This just looks like, remember when you used to have like Windows XP on your, your computer, you got like this green background, with the hell? Oh, hello. Okay, this is where Forbidden Valley is. <laughs> So we've got Ripsaw over there, which is very unusual. I wonder if they planned this a long time ago, or they're going to actually include Ripsaw in. We've got Air or Galactica here, and I'm wondering if it's going to be the roller coaster restaurant or not. Who knows? Oh! <laughs> I like that. I believe that's the Galactica logo, isn't it? That's really strange how that's just appeared there. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, I need it. See, this is where I need to get to, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. What is it? Comment below if, you, if you've got any guesses what this, this could possibly be. In fact, um, the team at VTO... Maybe able to <laughs> shed some light, unless it's something top secret, I don't know. But uh, I really want to check that out. It's a shame I can't get to it. Do I... Do I... I'm going to just die. If I die, I'm going to just leave the video there, I think, because I've kind of seen everything and more of what we can see. I probably have missed a few things out, but again, that is something for you, to dis you guys to discover uh, when you play it yourself. Uh, obviously, <laughs> all this, this is, uh, you, you might not be able to even get here anyway, where I am now, but um, I'm presumably going to patch up a lot of things by then. But um, anyway, let's see what happens here. If I die, I'm going to cut the video off and uh, call it a day. I'm going to die. Am I? Yep, I died. So, if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button, hit subscribe for more uh, content like this, and make sure to flick the bell to keep all up to date. And I'll catch you on the next video. So top left is the latest video, bottom left is a random one, and make sure to hit that button over on the right for the time of your lives. You've been watching Screwy Loops, try a bit.